as if the steps of an intruder. I remember my father telling me, it's nothing but the heat causing the wood to expand from the change in temperature. Though I never rest easy at three o'clock, and every night I awaken. This night, however, was different, for I already felt an intense urge to go to the bathroom. I turn over and the clock's red numbers read 2.58. Surrounded by darkness, I muster the courage to arise from the bed and use the bathroom, reluctantly opening the door slowly. The door let out a shrieking screech. Slowly, I emerge from the room, reaching for the door across the hall sheathed in a cover of darkness. Light pierced the darkness from the bathroom to my kitchen. From my peripheral did my eyes deceive me. A smile from the darkness loomed above my kitchen doorway, almost touching the ceiling in the last pocket of darkness. I froze with crippling fear as my heart began beating harder and harder. I felt as if I weighed two tons, unable to move, as a long arm reached out to me. Crooked, pale, mangled fingers, and contorted in shape, reached for me. I slowly swayed back instinctively. Then almost suddenly, the hand jerked back, and a loud shriek in pain came from the darkness before me. My cross dangled from my neck. Jingling with each sway, I heard knocks as if the figure was causing the entire floor to rock. I figured my cross caused the darkness great pain, and I stepped forth into the darkness holding the cross out. Each step made the shrieks louder and louder. Finally, I got close enough to see the creature's eyes. The figure bellowed out. It hurts us. It hurts us. The eyes were reflecting the light from the bathroom with a silver hue, almost like that of a mirror. Within those eyes, I saw myself holding the cross. Then my heart dropped. There, too, was another smile above my shoulder. It hurts us. <laughs> 